Hi, Gemini. This is a peek at your partner for the week of April the 10th through April the 16th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Gemini for April the 10th through April the 16th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Gemini for April the 16th through April the 22nd, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Gemini for April the 10th through April the 16th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Gemini. Gemini, this is a peek at your partner. So, Gemini, your partner has the Empress. Your partner has the Five of Cups. Your partner has the King of Cups. Your partner has the Eight of Swords. And your partner has the Knight of Pentacles. So, Gemini, your partner has the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So listen, Gemini, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Gemini's partner. Clarify the empress for Gemini's partner. Clarify the empress for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So listen, Gemini, you know, first of all, first off, listen, you know, this can be about your partner's abundance. They could be getting a blessing here. Yes. Your partner could tell me that they want to nurture the relationship. Maybe they want a new start in love with you. But when we're dealing with the Ace of Cups and Tarot, this brand new blessing, this could be a baby. And the mother is sitting right here. So we'll see. Gemini, your partner has the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is your partner mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So listen, Gemini, your partner's telling me that they're hurt, they're mourning, they're disappointed here, or they're feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Five of Cups for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Five of Cups for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So listen, Gemini could be dealing with a Leo, but listen, your partner could tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light, and maybe they're, you know, feeling remorse and regret because they want to be happy here. Clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. Clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. Clarify the sun for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the chariots. 
could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Gemini, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make a move here. Clarify the chariot. For Gemini's partner, clarify the chariot. For Gemini's partner, clarify the chariot. For Gemini's partner, it is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Gemini, very well could be a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up and one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So listen, you know, this is weird. Because Gemini it almost makes me feel like your partner's feeling remorse and regret for some type of get back, for some type of spiteful vengefulness here. Your partner could tell me that something was illuminated, so they went full force into some type of rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or they went full force with going out to be a player somewhere. And that makes more sense here because did they go out? and become a player because something was illuminated about you and they did it out of spite and now there's a baby mama baby baby mama and baby here is that what it is listen i'm just asking <clears throat> gemini your partner has the king of cups scorpio cancer of pisces this king is a very loving kind compassionate king he's fair and balanced in his emotions but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve he's in complete control of his emotions could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Or someone may be a parent here. Clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, it is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> this is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So some type of offer of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment coming into your partner here. Hmm. Listen. Your partner has the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck, like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is your partner refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. <clears throat> so Gemini. Yes, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation here. Your partner could also tell me that there's blocked communication. But listen, because 
I have to go back to this. Five of Swords. This is spiteful, vengeful energy here. Did your partner do something? Did they do something in retaliation to something that they discovered that you did? And is it that they accepted something? And is it from baby mama, baby daddy? Clarify the Eight of Swords for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling smug because they're blocking communication with you. However, your partner could tell me that they got their wish because they have some type of new, new and opportunity and blessing coming in here. They got their wish, but it put them in a stuck situation. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a load. Come on, ease on down, ease on down, down the road. Listen, Gemini, your partner has the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So listen, Gemini, your partner is saying everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leora Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, passionate messages or news of passion. So, listen, Gemini, your partner can tell me that they're receiving passionate messages, sending passionate messages out. Very well could be that we are having this passionate communication here, heated discussion or argument, or we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Gemini, just listen to me. Because I see so many things here, okay? So, Gemini, listen. Your partner could tell me that you guys had this heated discussion or argument taking place here. And maybe it was over practicality. Money, assets, resources, property, money, okay? And because of this argument, your partner is saying, you know what, I'm pissed. And maybe they went somewhere to baby mama, baby daddy and accepted some type of blessing here, okay? And they're getting their wish, but they're in a stuck situation now because they accepted it from this person. Your partner could also tell me that, you know, you guys just 
and it, I can't say just because you're not just getting in an argument just to get in an argument. Something happened. So is it because your partner has a spiteful, vengeful energy here? So is it that they're, they were mad at you, you guys went stagnant, and they went out and had passionate communication with this other person and even started a passionate new beginning with this other person, and now there may be baby and baby mama involved here. Somebody else is involved here, okay? Now, is someone else involved because this other person was available to front funds? Or was, is this argument happening over someone else in the picture who is fronting their cookies? That is the question. So, Gemini, this is a peek at your partner for the week of April the 10th through April the 16th, 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.